Hey. Welcome. I'm just hearing some feedback, so I'm going to fix that. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Erica. Thank you so much for joining. This should, in theory, fix that feedback problem. Let me know. Hey, you made it. <laughs> How was your day off? Is that better? In terms of feedback. Thank you so much for joining. Out of curiosity, oh, hey. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what did you guys want me to do? I did put a poll up and the poll that won was landscape, um, watercolour loose landscape painting. Is that what you'd like? Shameless plug, look. I did this painting and my mum gifted it to, to me by putting it on a mug. Hey, thank you all so much for joining. My lovely mug. Is there anyone else going to be painting? And also let me know what you voted for. If you didn't get a chance to vote what you wanted to see. Thank you. And also let me know if you're hearing any feedback. If it's just me, then that's fine, as long as it's not you as well. Shall we get started? So what I actually wanted to do for this piece was like a nice loose painting of Venice. If you have any ideas for colour schemes, feel free to let me know. But to start off, what I'm going to do is just start off with wet on wet. So I'll just wet the whole paper. I'm using a moleskin sketchbook, which to be perfectly honest has been irritating the life out of me recently. <laughs> so as soon as I find a better one, I will let you know. But for now, this is what I'm using. So I'm just going to wet the whole paper and a lot of my painting I don't put like a lot of pre-thought is that the word into it beforehand um obviously I tried to get a rough scheme beforehand hence why I put it on the 
on the community tab but usually I just kind of go with the flow so adding lots of water and keeping the edges clipped to kind of minimize the warping and now let's see what color I want to do something brightish so we'll go for some yellow and make it warm I've really been feeling like yellows and purples and and the reason that I wet the whole paper first is just so that I can have like smooth transitions so as you can see the water just kind of spreads on its own the paint sorry just spreads on its own and it just avoids having those like harsh lines and because i kind of want it to be like a wispy um kind of feeling this kind of goes with it and also i'm still trying to like get you know really good at doing clouds but you know they're soft they're not well defined and so wet on wet really does give the best effect for this now because i wanted to kind of be really loose i'm using this massive brush but this isn't a watercolor brush this is a multi-purpose general brush by graduate de la rani and because of that that's why that hair is coming off here from the brush but i think it will it will work for what we want to do So if we want to make it a bit of a sunset, we can add a bit. So the colours that I'm using also are a mixture of professional and non-professional colours. So this is Daniel Smith that I've used. And if you want to see the colours that I have included, then you can check out that video. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. But it's the last video I created, I believe. So I'm basically kind of going for sunset vibes and because I want there to be like a canal here with the buildings here and this is going to be the water we can just reflect that so use similar colors at the bottom and in theory we can just make them more saturated because they're going to be closer to us. Now, where I'm going to put the buildings in the middle, I've stopped adding water to it because I want to dr I want it to dry. I want that area to be like wet and dry. And to be fair, when I first started off the painting, there was no need for me to add water there. I could have just left it, but I just didn't. I wanted to make it easier for myself. So now I'm just really working on adding the colors that I want in the water as well as in the sky. Hi, Katerina. Oh, thank you, Ellis Real. And thank you for your comment as well. I read it. Um, it was really nice. I think I replied like yesterday or the day before. <laughs> now, just dab off the excess water. And I think my biggest limiting factor at the moment is just how long it's going to take to dry. So it can be a benefit and a detriment. It depends on what you want to see. I, yeah, I know. Thank you, Katharina. I know it's, I normally don't like um, announce it. I normally just go with the whim and then go live, but trying something different. 
hence why I also put a poll in the community tab asking whether going live is something that you would want to see weekly twice a month once a month just to get a bit of a better idea because I I enjoy painting with you guys I don't know if you're also painting along but I enjoy us painting together and this is So every so often you'll see that I make the paper a bit whiter by like lifting off the colour and that's just because in water there are like reflections so I don't want the colour to be absolutely everywhere and when I do it in the sky it's just because I will assume that is where the clouds will go. How's everyone doing? Hey, Jadera. Thank you guys for joining, honestly. It's lovely painting with you. It beats watching criminal, like, um, crime dramas, which is what I usually do when I'm painting. So I'm purposely leaving the middle, one, to dry, and two, to also get, um, like, almost void of paint, just not putting much paint there, because for two reasons. One, I kind of want the sun centralish, so I want things to be lighter towards the middle, but also because I'm going to put something over it in a bit, so there's no um, need, really, to add paint there. Hey, Ms. Ebony. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining to say hi. <laughs> I hope work is going well. Oh, that's good, Chidera. What are you going to paint? Part of me wonders what this painting would look like. Oh, thank you. Part of me wonders what this, T minus 15 minutes ago, what this painting will look like if I did it on cotton paper instead of the moleskin. Because <laughs> I can see there are some areas that are irritating just because it's warping. Maybe if I did it on a block, it'd be a bit better. We'll see. If I have enough time, then I will do that at the end on a small block, maybe. I think the middle is dry enough. So my sister asked me earlier why I used, because I did a paint, a very similar painting to this before. Um, 
why I use this color scheme, but I don't know. I'm I'm really enjoying it. So I will show you. I want to do the buildings. The light's going to be coming from behind them, so you it'll basically be like a silhouette kind of painting. But I want to make it really dark. So I'll add some paints grey. to my dioxazine purple and then the other thing that I want to add is a bit of that red that I have to just give that purple a bit of character isn't it such a nice color and then what I'm gonna do now is assuming where's the horizon I think I'm gonna make the horizon a bit higher rather than straight in the middle I'll do it here so the painting is still wet which means that it's going to blend I don't mind too much because I'm not doing massive details at the moment so it's fine for it to run And this is my Princeton Aqua Elite watercolour brush. But honestly, I think you could use whatever you want to use. And I may actually use this one. Still the same um, round Princeton Aqua Elite brush, but bigger. It will force me, or help me uh, rather, to be more loose. Because sometimes when I start using small brushes, I start putting in details where I don't need to be. Oh, thank you so much. Deco painting and tea. I'm trying to get better at layering colours, like understanding colours. And I think perhaps the reason that I keep getting drawn to this colour palette is because it's like um, complementary colours. Like I have purples and yellows. That might be why it keeps drawing me in. But yeah, I think previously in my other, like in my floral paintings, I don't tend to layer very much, but I'm trying to, to learn and take you along with me as I do so. And also I'm learning so much from you guys. Is anyone planning on painting this weekend? So I'm basically making purple by adding like a cool red with a warm blue. And I want like lots of different types of purples for this painting just to add interest. And I think actually I wasn't going to do that, but let's do that. Thank you. And up. Dome. and the key thing is for now to keep everything wet on here 
so that the purples can really like blend nicely into each other. And then after when I want to do details, I can do wet on dry. Okay, this is looking too similar to that, so I'll change that slightly and make it go up. Yeah, is anyone planning on painting or creating anything this weekend? Or have any nice plans they want to share with us? Oh, thank you. I don't know, like, honestly, if you look at my sketchbook tour from the video that I did of my sketchbook tour, where I think I went through three sketchbooks, you'll see that I didn't really use purples very much. It's like a very recent thing. But <laughs> I have, whoops, that we'll have to figure out in a second. But I've really been loving it more recently. Lots of different types of purples. which I think will be a good and a bad thing. The more I learn about pigments, the more I see that quite a few purples actually tend to be fugitive, which means that, you know, they're not, they're not light fast. But I guess the way around that would be to be mixing my own purples with reds and blues that are light fast to get nice mixes. wonder what building we should do here. Let's do another building like that. And you can see that within the shadows, I'm adding like extra colors. Oh, I think you can see, can you? No, cobalt violet was like the worst thing. <laughs> the worst thing i ever experienced okay that's a bit uh dramatic but no i i honestly thought i would love cobalt violet like i still have the tube of it somewhere um but it just did not like activate it was just honestly acting like pva glue like these are the kind of colors that i want you know like purples that lean toward red or you know dark like any and all types of purples but that one was just like using pva glue like it there was no color I think I like purples that are a lot richer. I genuinely thought it was like broken or expired or something. Um, but then on speaking to other people, quite a few people had experienced the same thing and are saying that it's just something that tends to happen with cobalt violet. Um, so yeah, for magenta, I don't have a magenta. I'll get the colours that I do have towards the end so I can show you. But yeah, I think initially I wasn't like, I don't know, I didn't really use purples. Um, but of late, <laughs> I've changed. And I think also because I want to like start using... Um, violet as like shadows basically rather than um using blacks blues or grays i think they make quite nice shadows um, 
Yeah, I, I, thank you so much. Hi, uh, Moni. Thank you for joining. <laughs> it's so nice to have you on. It's so nice that, um, I don't know, like I recognize you guys. Does that make sense? Like I recognize you, we chat in the comments and I don't know, it makes it feel even nicer when we're painting together because we actually somewhat know each other. <laughs> but yeah, um, Cobalt Violet, I think is definitely not one for me. Uh, Terra Verde or Terra Verde, as Moni mentioned, um, also behaves in a similar way where it's almost like the binder and the pigment aren't one. And it's not a question of granulation, it's just, I find it to be a bit of a weird effect for me that I wouldn't want to replicate. Um, but that being said, there might be someone who'll, who wants that exact effect. And if that's what you're looking for, then you're in luck because it's one of the few colours that does it. But for me, it doesn't, I don't really like it. Ultramarine Violet. No, I haven't tried Ultramarine Violet. I've started like writing a list of all these um, colours that you guys are recommending for me to try. So I'll add that to the list. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I keep using the wrong blue. Hold on, I should be using this. I wasn't using, so this is like the Ultramarine by Daniel Smith. I wasn't using it because it granulates and I tend to like avoid granulation. But again, something that I've started changing. Thank you so much. Senelia <laughs> Royal Blue. I'll, I'll literally feel free to add um, all these things, uh, all these colours that you would recommend to try or to avoid. And uh, if we have enough, then I could make a video on it if you'd find that helpful of just highlighting what people's experiences have been with those colours. Because yeah, for example, I have started doing the swatching videos that I long promised. I've started recording it. I just need to edit it and um, put it together. So it will be released next week, if not tonight, if I manage to finish editing tonight. Um, but yeah, the Potter's Pink was doing that same thing on the dot card, just separating in a really weird way. So I knew that would not be the colour for me. Let's add this. Yeah, I, I think I can't handle the gooiness. <laughs> Like I need things that are a bit more homogenous, like in the same consistency throughout, nice and relatively predictable, as predictable as watercolour can be anyway. Um, but that's the thing, I also wasn't a fan of granulation before, but I think the more I've um, tried painting and tried different like techniques, the more it's actually grown on me. I don't think it will be my go-to all the time, but it's certainly something I'm willing to try. Okay. I feel like I want to change something about this one. I may add an altar to it, maybe that's what's missing. 
Hey Shadow Guard. How's my week been? My week's actually been uh really good. Well, okay, so parts of it were really bad and then parts of it were really good and the good thankfully um outweighed the bad. But um it was my birthday, so I celebrated my birthday, which was great. Um, and my family like took me out for dinner, which was so nice, got me like really amazing gifts. Um and you know how they talk about five love languages and things? Uh if you don't know, Google it, it's quite it's quite interesting. It's basically like the idea that we all have um that we all express and receive love in different ways. Um and basically the reason that I found it interesting is because afterwards, like to me, for example, after doing that quiz, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. After doing that quiz, I was like, oh, okay. Um what kind of things mean the most to me and I realized that for example for me one of the things that means the most is like quality time and acts of service so that's you know someone making the effort to spend time with me really means a lot and to me really shows that they care for me um and then I've done it with like um my friends have also done like the quiz and stuff just to see like what the differences are and say for example some people will be like words of affirmation which maybe for me was like third <laughs> thank you um which for me was like third you know so it just made me more aware of the fact that different people may express and receive love in different ways but for me it is acts of service and quality time so my family going out of their way to spend time with me on my birthday despite the tube strikes and everything else going on was just basically the perfect gift um equally perhaps now it makes more sense as to why I keep doing these live streams to spend time with you guys <laughs> because because it's like my uh my love language my go-to thing is uh yeah acts of service and quality time and then the other options were like acts of service quality time um affirmations or words of affirmation rather gifts and physical touch um and then how you show love may not be how you receive love, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Like there was a whole bunch of um, things, but it's very interesting. Or I've, at least I found it very interesting. So in answer to your question, my week was very good um, for my birthday. I also went on a trip, um, like a solo trip to just relax, which I think I just needed to do for a while. Um, so that was also very amazing, very much needed. And yeah and now I'm here with you now so it's been a, a good week the traveling bit was you know traveling is never easy especially with like COVID and stuff um but on a whole it's been a really good week <laughs> thank you so much thank you all for the birthday wishes yeah I don't know um Yeah, here we go. How's everyone else's been? Mm. Oh, I haven't heard of attachment styles, Moni. That's something that I'll check out as well. Freedom. Yeah, I took the I took the week off because I was just like, you know, uh, I don't want to be working on my birthday pretty much and then also I was trying to um to learn to take a break and I'm not gonna lie it's kind of harder than I thought it would be like I'm procrastination right and avoiding doing what you want to do is not the same as actually like taking a break and I do tend to procrastinate a lot and god willing that's something that will end soon <laughs> but even when I was, you know, on holiday, I made a conscious decision of um, uh, not going on YouTube, not, uh, you know, really tried to detach, to relax, to enjoy the here and now. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. You'll see, I um, I created a vlog, <laughs> um, just taking you along with me because I was just like, oh, this doesn't work. This is fun, right? Um, it did mean that I kind of fell behind on replying to the comments and if I haven't replied yet I will is just that that was why basically I was trying to uh, get a bit better at having like a work-life balance because 
I enjoy YouTube, right? Um, but it's still, it is hard work. <laughs> um, so it's good to also try and have a break. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, so shall we see so this is still wet on wet um, now this is water right and this is I can't remember what artist I saw do this um, but I'll basically show you what he did in terms of adding the shadows to the water hey Dorora to be perfect I don't think I think watercolour is hard <laughs> in general to be perfectly honest I think you're you're right it's not that you're doing anything wrong or anything like that i think that it can be tricky because it's so versatile because you can do so many different things with it um and because i don't know like you can have control and also not have control because i, I don't think it's an easy medium i think or you could argue no medium is easy but for example if i want acrylic and i put paint where i want it and it it will stay there you know um whereas i find that watercolor maybe needs like more planning um you can't really or you know it's harder to correct mistakes um it's easy to not like get the control that you want so i think that's what's um tricky but if you think of anything that i can do to help then please let me know um that's honestly what i'm here for <laughs> thank you moni my thing is um and this is perhaps why i don't do um oils or why i was saying that i haven't really tried oils is that i like doing paintings in one sitting like i'm not about this go and come back tomorrow kind of thing i i need to finish it here and now <laughs> i need to finish it and um and then quite often it's pity but quite often if i don't finish it i won't come back to it um it will literally just stay as it is uh shadow god yes jackson's does do painting sales every so often i don't know when they do them but i am waiting for them i know that they like definitely do really good black black friday sales but obviously that's in november so that's quite a way to wait but i do believe that they like so far they've had a pencil sale they've had a um watercolor not watercolor they've had a paper sale a pencil sale they're doing a print sale at the moment look at me it's like i work for them um, <laughs> so i do believe and then this is what we do load the paint with brush uh, load the brush with paint so i do believe that they will do a sale and when they do i will be ready although um those of you who are here probably um know creating cute art she's an artist on youtube as well really amazing and um she's doing or she was doing this challenge where she was basically trying to finish up her paints her flash paints and I've never thought of that, but I actually think I should do a challenge like that because it will afford me the freedom of not worrying about being good enough for the art supply because the aim, the goal of the challenge is to finish those paints. So um, I'm saying this because I'm basically thinking I want to be ready for the Jackson cells to actually, and this is what we do, hold on, we'll see if it works. Need to make it a bit wetter. This is too blue. This is better. So we paint on an angle, which to me kind of looks frightening, but then also yields like really nice results. So Moni, you do it over like multiple sittings. I think that's a good, I think it's just, uh, I'm not a patient person. Like I think, or well, patience is a, a virtue that I need to work on rather. Um, 
and I don't know, I like the vision for what I see coming to pass quite quickly. Hey, Anna, Anna Downia. Am I saying it right? Anna Downia, but thank you. <laughs> I was saying that it's so nice that we're all here because like I recognize your names. Hi, Viganis. <laughs> That's for Dynamite. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me see. Yes. Yeah. I think my thing with not posting as much as I do, like I maybe have 10 videos in backlog that I want to post. I just haven't had the time to edit yet. And I know at some point I will get an editor, but I kind of like enjoy doing the editing myself um for now and then also I know that it takes me too long but that's again something that I'm working on but also I don't know how I would communicate what I want done to the you know properly <laughs> so so I think for now I would just add like an extra layer um but I have a few days off so what I am planning on doing is doing more editing basically I was going to tell myself, okay, I'm not allowed to record another video until I edit three. Something like that, you know. But then I get so inspired and I'm like, oh my gosh, let me video this for you. Thank you. The shadows are always like the scariest bit for me. Can you see? What do you think? <sighs> I'm so happy to see you too, Dynamite. I think that looks good, no? I'm trying, um, I recently did the uh, a collaboration with Archer and Olive. I'm gonna keep mentioning this. <laughs> you, this. If you've watched all my content, this might be like the 18th time you've heard me say this, but it's just because it was something that um, I never like, that I was just so happy to be a part of that, you know, I, I didn't think I would ever get asked to be a part of. Um, so something that I'm proud of I guess is the, the gist of it and um, not just through that but through other things like you know they, they say that we're quite bad at doing self-promotion and talking good about ourselves like for example if I hated a painting I could tell you exactly what I hated about it you know but I'm trying to stop that and trying to be like more positive and actually um, celebrate the things that I am proud of celebrate the things that I like so I can say I like this painting <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> um yeah so I'm trying to like get better at that basically it's not every day be critical you know sometimes like um uplift ourselves yeah. how's everyone's week going so far and also oh maybe hold on as we do this I think the colors and things are nice enough in that so i will let that dry for a second as i uh what i want to do is create a poll to basically ask you your opinion on how often thank you so much <laughs> to basically ask you your opinion on how often we should do these sketchbook sessions um won't necessarily have to be sketchbooks but yeah I really like this I like like this effect I'm gonna try and get better at it So once this bit is dry, like this top bit, which should be dry soon, I will go over it and add more details. Dark on dark this time. How often should we do painting live streams? Uh, 
every week, twice a month, once a month, okay, so I'll put a poll up, <coughs> so that we can see what we think the water's reflecting the watercolor is reflecting the light <laughs> but that effect will stop in a second hey j smile thank you so much dorora <laughs> bob ross vibes <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's so nice of you. At least I know. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. Okay. More purple. So for this bit, even more forward, gonna make it darker. Oh, just look at those purples ah the poll would depend on my availability very true uh, miss ebony very very true but um i think i think i could do weekly it wouldn't be the same day every week because it ch like my rotor changes um but if it's a live stream i think i could do weekly and the reason i think i could do it is basically because like I paint every week. So it would just be a thing of when I'm painting instead of watching a crime drama or something that doesn't serve me, <laughs> I will um, do it with you guys, <laughs> basically. At least that is the hope. Um, but we shall see if everyone's like, oh yeah, weekly and it's too much, then we will default to what I can do. Thank you so much, Shidara it's so funny you guys say that because my sister has a really nice voice so i kept trying to get her to um do the voiceover for my videos and uh she refused <laughs> um but maybe one day okay so let's do more buildings in front of here I think I just like like all the depth of um, all the depth of this painting if that makes sense and I don't know I hope you can see it but there's like I don't know especially like with the buildings there are reds where the sun is going to be there are like it's a more bluey purple where the shadows are So it's a fun painting to do and to be perfectly honest if i wasn't doing a live stream i would have brought out my heat gun and sped up the process <laughs> but i think it would be a very annoying thing to be listening to so i'm trying to be patient and wait for it to dry naturally Uh, this is from my imagination but like um but i guess i don't know i always feel like i say imagination but like okay yes i say in theory it's imagination but then also um in venice like there are buildings that are quite you know similar shapes and everything so from my imagination but very 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 heavily inspired from venice I'll meet you guys. Won't you find it annoying? Wait, can I meet myself? Yeah, I guess I can meet myself. Because it's just the... The water, right? I'll see. If by the time I finish doing the buildings, this water is still not dry, 
I will mute you. Thank you for the suggestion and um, finish it off. Yeah, he can away. <laughs> so I'm not the only one who does it. I'm glad. Because otherwise, it, sometimes it just takes forever to dry, especially like, you know, in the UK, it's cold, you know. There's little to no incentive for this water to actually dry. And in theory, I could just use less water, but yeah, I don't. So I'm just doing buildings in front of the buildings. Does that make sense? <laughs> and I think before I complete that, I will do this. Thank you. It's so funny because I do, <laughs> I do, uh, I don't feel like I'm a, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know, creative isn't necessarily the right word, like, but as in, I've clearly seen these shapes before, which is why I'm able to replicate them in a painting or, um, um, so I feel like my creativity is different, not necessarily bad, just different. I keep using that blue and I need to stop using it. <laughs> Okay, um, so we'll get some Payne's Grey, which leans towards blue. And, and guys, I'm using my Daniel Smiths. <laughs> progress. <laughs> we thank God for progress. It's been uh, almost a year, but I'm finally using it. As you can see with the red, it's kind of hurting me a little bit that the red is almost finished <laughs> but, but colors are meant to be used right like these supplies are meant to be used so i will continue using them um and then the rest of the colors are my windsor and newton cockman <laughs> um i basically went on a trip i'm gonna show you guys uh, i'm going to do the vlog and release it asap after the swatches probably because i feel like i've promised the swatches for a while um so when going i didn't want to just carry my professional paints i wanted to carry paints that i could um practice with as well but as it happened having them on the same palette just meant that i used them interchangeably I, that's probably not i don't know if it's a good thing to do or a bad thing to do but that's what ended up happening um which means, as you can see, that I'm I'm getting freer. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting freer with using the paints, finally. <laughs> okay, so let's do the details on here. <laughs> yeah honestly it's it's been a process but i'm getting there so finally using the daniel smiths um i still have quite a few paints to use i'm not gonna lie but then also i think part of it is um yeah i don't know painting more wanting to um and then this is probably so shameful to admit but i i love buying like art supplies as you know right and i by no means have all art supplies but i then you know if i don't use any of these art supplies and i just hold them then there will come a point where i won't actually be able to buy anything because i will have it all unused sitting in my home so like at some point i'm going to have to start using them so that i could actually buy the things that i'm excited about so that i can figure out what i'm excited about and what i'm not excited about so for example if i hadn't used the cobalt violet 
I, it would forever remain in my drawer and I would not know that I don't like that colour. But now that I've finally used them, I know that colour is not for me. And I know that this colour, this red colour that I've almost finished is for me. Oh, no buy this. Honestly, I kept, I was saying I should just do a no buy. <laughs> But, but part of me feels like it's cheating because I've bought so much can I really do a no buy when yeah as in I have I have the hauls that I have left I'll give you guys the exclusive I have a cast out haul as in I've done the haul I just need to film it edit it and put it out for you but I've done a cast out haul I've done um there's a local store well it's not local to me but it's nearby um called cowling and cowling and something local art store basically did a haul there and then I did an Amazon art haul so I have three hauls that I need to put out um and because I like unboxing things with you I haven't even unboxed them yet which is a bit annoying because I want to use the supplies I've started to forget some of the supplies that I got because some of them it's been months the Amazon haul I started months ago slowly building up my collection um so then can I really say I'm doing a no buy if I've bought so much? But then again, I don't know, maybe I should do a no buy. <laughs> um, I've seen there was an artist that I saw. I can't remember her name, unfortunately. She popped up on my like uh, browser thing and she'd basically done a no buy for a year, which I completely commend. I don't, don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it because I like it makes me so happy but I not supplies. <laughs> um as right or wrong as that may be. Um let's do building here. So we'll do that coming around here. Going like this. Uh, maybe that's her name, Kendra. I, I think this artist had completed the no buy. So she said um, in the video that I was watching, I think it was like the end of the no buy. So she, I think, was then planning on doing a low buy as opposed to a no buy moving forward, which I think also is perhaps something that I should definitely employ, which is basically buying to replace what you run out of that you need, obviously. Um We shall see. Don't hold me to it. Oh, Miranda. <laughs> Anna Daniel knows everyone. <laughs> um, maybe it was Miranda. I can't remember the name. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't Kendra then because this artist had done it in 2021, had just finished it and was thinking, like, talking about the benefits of doing it. Um, just the fact that she still had so many art supplies. She felt more free to use the art supplies because she knew, like, she couldn't buy any others. Um, obviously, it was better for the environment, less waste. And it just made her, I guess, more conscious of what supplies she was going to get. Like in the future, because, yeah. So we'll see. Okay, I, I, I don't think I will do a no buy, but I think a low buy. <laughs> Watch YouTube work and eat. <laughs> yeah, I think um, a low buy maybe in the future. I think I could do a low buy once I know what supplies I like what my go-to supplies are I am still very much in the like experimenting phase do you know what I mean like trying out lots of different supplies trying out different colors different brands different techniques um So here I'm just adding like, oh, I don't actually think you can see it, can you? Hold on. I'm just adding like extra random details. Can you see it now? Oh, six days. That's a good way to go about it. Honestly, just take it a day at a time. Maybe what I'll do is like a no buy Lent. Lent started on Tuesday. I haven't bought anything yet. 40 days and then see... 
Att he har ikke det. So yeah, so now I'm just adding like those extra details. I wish I could zoom with this, but I can't zoom. I can only bring my phone down, which would mean covering my face. With live streams, do you like seeing my face or do you think you'd rather just, as in you'd, you'd rather just, um, just see the artwork, make the artwork bigger? Does that make sense? When I watch live streams, I like seeing the person talking to me, which is why I have my face in it. Um... But I think last you can see I'm learning. Oh, for Lent it's uh oh no soda. For Lent I'm oh, I can't even I can't even say because I don't want to hold myself accountable so bad. But yeah, I was thinking of doing something for Lent. It's I'm taking it a day at a time. I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way to forty, but but I will try. Yeah, I'm testing my face. Either it's fine. Uh, oh, <laughs> my adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Moni. <laughs> okay, cool. I was just checking because I did think on one hand, you can see last time I did the screen half and half, but I'm learning. So now I've done like, um, I've made the artwork bigger than my face. So we get the best of both worlds. Uh, let me add extra details here. Let me see how the votes are going along. Um, so 40% of people are saying, let me see, 15 votes. 40% are saying every week, 33% are saying twice a month and 27% are saying once a month. So between one or two weeks, every one or two weeks is the popular opinion. Um... Let me see, I want to add that here. Can you believe that the shadows in the water are still drying? Oh, also this seems to be here for decoration. Let me pull that back. And in terms of like for details, I'm literally just making it like making it up. I assume that building with a dome would have lines over the dome. So that's why I'm doing like this curved roof. I'm doing little dots for windows, little columns, lines for columns. Because it's far. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it's probably extra. Um, <laughs> thank you hey temple <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> um but yes yeah, probably because it's far i'm actually being extra there's actually no reason in theory to be adding all this detail because you wouldn't see it um or you would see very limited amount but i really enjoy um like i enjoy the details in the dark Um, what do you reckon? Let me do another line, a few lines here to make it. And a few lines here. This shadow is nice and normal. Okay. Do we feel like we're almost finished? I wanted to do this here as well. Let me do that. Oh, 
Also, I'm still playing with the idea of a streamathon. Whoops. Thoughts and opinions welcome. What incentive, Temple? Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Honestly, I feel like such a beginner. Like I'm just, just trying to experiment more. What else can we do, eh? says she has to paint or her nova gets extended that is <laughs> that is a good incentive uh heat tour time maybe well, i think the the water has actually dried apart from every so often i'll look at it and like i'll look at the shadows can you see is it focusing so the shadows i think maybe because i use some ultramarine blue the shadows like some parts of it granulate which is good doesn't bother me um but what i what i like is because i mixed the purples myself for some of them because i used ultramarine blue and blah blah, blah like a lot of it are, is separating so you can see bits that are like red and bits that are like darker lighter basically and i want that in the shadows so every so often if i'm painting with like a purple that i like and i don't really see much of it in the water i will just do like a line or two especially in an area where it looks um homogenous where it looks the same so for example like here this whole area looks relatively the same and i've got like a bit more of a red so then i'll just do like a line or two or three <laughs> across to add some variation so the water is actually dry it's just me now making it not dry but do we think it's finished is there anything else we should add I'm going to add some birds, but open to suggestions on what else to add. And for, but I don't even, you guys probably can't see, it looks like a random speck, but this is a bird. This over here is going to have to, was a mistake, but it's going to have to be a bird. Mm. And for birds, I just do like an M shape, basically. Like the birds we were taught at school. Um, try and do them as small as possible. I don't want to waste that paint. So let me use my slightly smaller brush. And 
don't want the paint to be too wet because then it'll end up being like a blob gotta be a bird <laughs> yeah exactly Uh. No, let me drink some water. Sorry, not water, green tea. Oh. With my cup, can you see? Mm. I don't know if I should add anything else. I kind of like it as it is. Could add more here. just genuinely adding more lines to the front to make it clearer that it's water but I think we get the the general gist right it's like more like drier brush strokes I think it's done. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's done. <clears throat> um, I do also feel like I should start being more organized with my live streams and <clears throat> sorry, and um, set a set a time that we're going to start at a time that we're going to finish so we all know what to expect <clears throat> um. thank you yeah I do think I'm pretty much done part you know part of me wants to like do more but then I also don't want to ruin it <laughs> so if it's if it ain't broke don't Don't fix it. So, what would you guys like to do next is the question. Well, I guess everyone's welcome to stay as long as they want. Um, I kind of want to try and do something similar on this tiny, not tiny, this smaller block of paper because this is 50% cotton I just want to see if it behaves significantly different significantly differently significant you know what I mean if it behaves differently in a very obvious way <laughs> um, because I was getting irritated I'll leave this here for like inspiration thank you <laughs> guys are honestly so kind but we'll, so I'll do again a similar painting same effect I just want to know how will it work in on cotton paper what color schemes you think oh hold on this happened last time as well I get carried away and I forget I forget that my Mac actually needs to be charged Okay, uh, what colour schemes should we do? Feel free to give your suggestions. I'm just going to change my water because this is not right.
fuck again. Green and blue. That sounds good. So we're doing... Start. Let's see. Okay. I may have to move this out of the way because if I get water on it, then it won't be great. Oh, but it looks so pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm being so, I'm so silly. Hold on. Let me put this away. Then we have space to do what needs to be done. Hey, TL. How many years of practice? Oh, you are so kind. <laughs> um, I so I've always loved art and drawing, but I didn't actually start painting until twenty twenty. Well, actually, that's a lie. So, as in, um, I didn't start doing art again until twenty twenty. But at the time, I wasn't actually painting. I was more like drawing. Um. So watercolour painting, I again maybe started towards the end of 2020. Dark teal and dirty rose. I honestly, I am at such a early stage that I'm open to trying everything. To me, like, I think dirty rose I would like, maybe because I'm thinking like of it in terms of um, teal I love. Uh, what's this word like vintage you know like vintage paintings back in the day vintage paintings that's the kind of thing that it reminds me of so green I wonder how this is gonna work uh, so that blue is a bit brighter than I would like. I'll add some sap green. I kind of feel like I want to start with the water first. Can you see that green? Or blue? <laughs> I feel like I've taken it quite literally now. So again, using like a big brush initially. And oh, interesting, it's coving as well. Maybe it's just me adding too much water. But this shouldn't, can you see how it's like um, buckling? This shouldn't be happening because it's a block. But it's okay, we'll persevere. No, I haven't used moody palettes, but I'm open to it. Honestly, I'm just trying to experiment more and more now. I think, hold on, this is too green. Do you think watercolour is harder or easier than wash? It's so funny because, um, I don't know, I feel like, I think it depends on what you're trying to achieve like what kind of paintings you're doing because in my head I kind of feel like technically watercolor is harder and yet <laughs> and yet watercolor gouache and I have a love-hate relationship like I love gouache but my gosh do I find it harder but then again I think it's probably because of the things that I'm trying to paint maybe I'll do that as a as a video where I try to paint the same thing as watercolor and gouache and then see which one I find harder but I think it it very much depends on what you're trying to paint. Do you know what you um, do? You have an idea as to what you're trying to paint? TL. Yeah, I like every. I, I think I like most things. Anything that I say I don't. Well, apart from cobalt violet, anything that I say that I don't like is just probably that I haven't like 
fully tried it yet or I don't fully, fully, fully understand it yet. And let's do a blue sky. It's funny because weren't we all taught the rhyme blue and green must never be seen? Just me? Add some blue there. More blue. And this is all still wet on wet. Yeah, this is what I think. I do think that in theory watercolour is harder, but I don't know what it is with me and gouache. <laughs> like I love it, but I do find it I do find it quite challenging a lot of the time. I still continue to do it. Um but it's definitely I I wouldn't say it comes easy to me. I know we said green. And blue but I just had to add some yellow to make it make sense <laughs> to me and also I want to make this green darker. Oh, honestly, me and Payne's grey, love. Ah, oh, thank you so much, TL. Do you have an Instagram? I'm slowly but surely making my way through like everyone's Instagram. If you, I did a post a while back. So if you left it, I had a look. I said hi, liked and commented. I basically love getting to know you all. Yeah, <laughs> water control. That's... I think also I, I do tend to paint very different things with watercolour versus gouache or a lot of the time. So with watercolour, I try to do a lot of like loose things. One thing that I would love to be able to do is like hyper realism, but again, I don't think I quite have the patience that it takes to be able to focus that long <laughs> to do something hyper realistic in one sitting. It'd have to be like the smallest painting in the world. to add more yellow just adding like a really light yellow oh yes i remember your cakes were amazing and you did tell me yes you do gosh <laughs> yeah no i remember you Because I'd liked the your cakes. <laughs> I 
I guess it's not a must that we have Instagram. I just find it like, um, obviously when we do live streams, it's good because we get to like talk to each other. But I find otherwise it's very hard to talk to you guys properly. If that makes sense. Yeah, this is, you can see the buckling, right? This should not be happening. So it has one, two, three, three curves. And it's still glued on the edges. It's not very good, is it? And to think I was getting irritated and saying that it's a... <laughs> It's a wind like the moleskin which is irritating me for the buckling. Um so I thought I would switch to stop that and see. And it didn't didn't make a positive difference at all. Oops. No, I had Just because I'm using a massive watercolour brush, it's just taking up so much water, which is meant to do. But given our buckling situation, <laughs> it may help matters if we calm down with the water. And again, lifting some areas in the middle. We'll see. It's gonna have to be. I don't know where I put my heat gun. And do it really dry. Let's see, is this the blue I want? Nope. Is this the blue I want? Yes. Just gonna try and add less water. Oh, I definitely think it's possible. I used to make my own um like notepads. Um, for like planning out my week and things so I imagine it's the same thing um, the way I did it well if there's a video out there that's helpful then obviously go for it but the way that I created the notepads was basically using some um, either some book glue or some PVA glue putting it to the edges and then I had um, some of these like craft boards or an MDF board, anything like that that you have, put it in between right to the edge, as in put the MDF board here, glued here, left that free and then just glued the sides I wanted to glue and put it under some heavy books and left it for, I think the first one I left for 12 hours and then I went back and I did another coat and then 12 hours later, i.e. 24 hours, it was nice and firm. And so, and because of the glue that I used, which I think was like PVA, like the equivalent of PVA glue, it just um, peels off really nicely. Because, yeah, this buckling should not be happening
and I to mirror it off we will oh that's such a bright blue add some of that to the bottom here Oh, Moni, the pressure's on. What are you going to say? <laughs> Oops. Oh, my. Someone else said I sound like Bob Ross. Does he have a British accent? <laughs> but, oh, wait. No, he doesn't. But, um, yeah. He was a pretty amazing artist. I'll take it as a, I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> um. Also, for those of you who don't know, Moni also has an art YouTube. Amazing. Does beautiful portraits with gouache. give me two seconds let me find my heat gun because i think otherwise this is going to take forever to dry but this is what we have so far i kind of mm, should i change mm, maybe hold on kind of want to make this bit darker Oh, you can't see. Just making the sky a little bit darker. This is definitely giving me more like ocean vibes now we'll still do the same like similar thing but <laughs> i know you have you have uh yeah definitely you have an amazing art channel you just don't mention it <laughs> Okay, guys, give me 30 seconds. I'm going to look for the heat gun. If not, then like I did before, I at a point, I just stopped doing the middle with the hope that it would dry. <laughs> Found it. Uh, 
Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to mute you for a few seconds just to dry this, okay? Forgive me. If I'm not mute, let me know. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow God. Very good point. That's what was making me laugh as I was thinking. Okay, let's turn this turn this around. And so we start green and green and blue. And in my head I was going to make the buildings blue. Bluey green? Yeah. But now I'm wondering, should I make them green? Should I make it both? Okay, I need to go. <laughs> I guess this is the thing of like doing things on the fly, right? You don't have time to make um to make decisions as to what you're going to do. Let me mix it on here. But it's okay. If it works out really nicely, fantastic if we all hate it such as life we've learned something new um, actually i think that horizon line's a little bit too high there we go that's where i'm gonna do the whole ways and again let's start with We'll start with the tower this time. Are there any videos um, that you would like me to make that I haven't made yet? Or you haven't mentioned already? If you have and you want to mention it again, obviously feel free. But while I have my MVPs here, I may as well make the most of it. Oh, halls, yeah. Well, TL, you will be happy to know that not one, not two, but three halls <laughs> are on their way. Um, uh, no, I didn't take any Patreon, you know, um, but I am thinking about it, um, not just for lessons, but then I, I like, like, artist community, you know, I like the idea of us all hanging out, whether it be on my YouTube or someone else's YouTube, so definitely thinking about joining um oh thank you yeah the time trial ones that was actually a lot of fun i don't normally paint like fruits or whatever um but just restricting myself to a time was very good and each time i did it i learned something new which is why i ended up painting it i think like five times in the end because I was like, okay, great. Now I know about colour, but I'm not happy with the shadows. I'm going to do the shadows next. And so on, so on, so on. Uh, 
leave that there. So yeah, I can definitely do more time challenges because that was genuinely a lot of fun to do. I still, I don't know if I'd get to the point where I'd do the 10 second one. I guess it depends on what it is I'm painting. I think I could do a loose floor in 10 seconds, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you, Anadanya. And... Do another small tower. And a bigger tower. That's not my accent. I don't know why I'm doing it. And then, shall we do a bigger dome? Oh, just yeah. I think I saw, <clears throat> I think I was I am following Just Chung on instagram so yeah and she also has really good youtube videos on gouache um so she's definitely a good one um sarah burn studio she's also i'm thinking about joining her patreon um just because i want to paint more landscapes as you guys know and she does beautiful landscapes um who else is there but yeah i think to be perfectly honest, when I was learning, it was just um, when I was learning. I am still learning. But as in when I started off in 2020, a lot of my learning process um, was just experimenting and trying it out myself. So that's why I didn't learn like any of the of the theory. I didn't really watch tutorials. Um, yeah, I just... I just painted and painted and painted and painted but that being said now that I think I want to learn more specific things I've started well I haven't started but I will start seeing more tutorials and maybe Patreon I've been I've been thinking about Skillshare as well just to like be a bit more focused so say for example learn how to paint water and actually dedicate a period of time to learn how to do it and do it properly So maybe I'm doing it all backwards. <laughs> Instead of starting off by watching people, I start off by doing my own thing. And now that I um, I can do this, I'm like, oh, yeah, let me start watching <laughs> beginner tutorials. Ah, uh, yeah, um, limited palettes. <laughs> Obviously, I clearly have a problem. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um. Yeah, limited palettes, definitely a good idea. Fun to do, you know, because then you'll be forced to, um, what for this? No, this is again, just from my head. <laughs> but I assume that there is something like this somewhere in the world. Oh, thank you. I, again I think because I'm not that patient I actually like um, I do tend to like um, time lapses but I do also feel like they're not as perhaps beneficial as watching something real time especially if you want to know like a specific thing um, this is from imagination oh when I first started painting um also from imagination but when I as in when I first started painting a lot of my paintings were or uh florals like loose florals and things I'm trying to think of where my sketchbook is 
so a lot of so I've done if if you like I've done a sketchbook tour um well I've done two sketchbook tours but if you go to my very <laughs> and please don't judge me too harshly if you go to my very very first video on YouTube it's actually a sketchbook tour of my first complete sketchbook so then on there you'll see that like I did some urban sketching drawing outdoors from what I was seeing so that was like you know not necessarily from photo but from life reference um but then a lot of the florals that I did um were more from imagination but then I don't know I say imagination but then I also feel like it's you know you'd look at it and be like oh it's a rose <laughs> so so it's not like I completely designed I don't know like I completely designed an amazing uh flower or something like that it's all kind of from imagination but very much inspired from real life So this is, as per your recommendation, although I don't know if this is exactly what you had in mind when you said blue and green. So yeah, I think so far I've been pretty, uh, yeah, I've documented like all my stages of learning. So I did the first, my very first video was the my sketchbook tour. And then I also did another sketchbook tour a few months ago. Um, where I pretty much showed all my sketchbooks. Because I tend to have like six sketchbooks at a time. So instead of doing, actually, to be fair, instead of doing um, like the complete sketchbook tour, I think only one of those sketchbooks was complete. I just did it by theme almost. So it's very much floral because that's the majority of the thing that I was doing. And I think if I wait until I've complete every sketchbook before I do the tour, we'll just never have any tour videos because it takes me forever to finish. I have not seen art prof, but I will look out for them, especially as I start to learn more. And also with the, um, as you know, I'm going to do the, like finish editing the swatching video. That's been really good in terms of helping me uh, appreciate like different pigments, what pigments make what colors, et cetera, et cetera, at least for the Daniel Smith colors. Um, so that's something quite interesting. And that's helped me a bit more with colour theory. I also started looking up more about colour theory, reading up more on it. And again, it's one of the videos, forgive me, it's one of the videos that I've um, started, recorded, just need to edit. So far, not noticing crazy differences with the 50% cotton paper. But the day is young.
I like how the blue is like separating. I do think in some places you can't tell it's blue, it just looks like darker green, but still pretty. And it's good that you suggested this because I can tell you for free, I would never think of this color scheme. <laughs> to frame my learning path that's very good advice because as you can see i just did what i wanted to do there was no f there was no frame <laughs> there was just me and a sketchbook okay so i wanted some i, I did this wet and dry because i wanted to i wanted this color to kind of show through and now we're going to do what we did before that makes me a little bit uncomfortable but it's fun so we'll wet part of this and I'm not wetting the whole thing because then it will just run across the whole thing and it won't really look like a shadow so I am loosely doing lines across making them somewhat connected trying to do them relatively under where like the building is so for example I'm not doing a lot in the middle because there's not much here so it wouldn't make sense for there to be a great big shadow coming down but we'll do that and coming across um, like that and a little bit there and I just make the lines somewhat touch so that they can run down and then I'm picking up two colors just out of curiosity to see what happens and then doing a line across if you can see I'm going pretty much over the wet areas that I went before if it's not running down. So that's okay, but I think we need to go darker. So I'm going to add some Payne's Grey. And it's the Daniel Smith one, which to me is like a little bit more blue. And adding some more there. And then put in some water because I want this to run. This is probably one of the few times that I don't want to have, well, not few times, but I don't want to have any control of this watercolour, at least for this bit. Why is it defying me? Okay. I want more, more. I think there's too much white space here and here, so we'll get rid of that. Um. Thank you so much. Yeah, please, Temple, please do put a link. Maybe in the comment, not in the in the um, discussion because the discussion sometimes disappears once I um, post it but if it's in the comments then it won't go anywhere thank you that's really helpful um after you dried is it buckling again where it layers yes it's still buckling as in those three areas that were buckling was are still somewhat buckling not as much as before but still to a certain extent more so the middle bit it wasn't buckling when I was doing gouache, but I guess I used a lot less water than I'm using now. Maybe once I finish the block, I'll do a review of it and try and figure out why that happened and try and stop it happening again. What do we think? Is it working? I like how, so, this is green but I think in contrast to the blue it's looking more like it's sun-kissed no like it's yellow I do think the shadows need to get darker <laughs> but perhaps I will add it um, darker towards here closer to the buildings darker you know what I mean So I'm just taking the Payne's Grey now, no blue. 
because I don't feel like I was getting as dark as I wanted it to be. Interestingly, you can't really see the blue-ish. I guess you can see it in the sky. Sorry, Anna, I know you love blue. <laughs> I'll try and incorporate more of it in the shadow. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for making the suggestion, Chidera, because really and truly, these are not my go-to colors. Then again, what is my go-to color really? Do I hang up any of my own stuff? That's so sweet. No, <laughs> no, I do not. Um, it's actually quite funny because when I was uh, when I was living with flatmates a few years ago, one of my flatmates came into my room, and because a lot of the time we just hang out in the you know common spaces, not in our bedrooms. So she came to my room for the first time after a while. Thank you so much, and she looked around and there was like no decoration in my room like no pictures no posters nothing that's that to me like literally i'm the kind of tenant how how you set up the room is how it will stay i won't move around the furniture i won't hang anything up it will just stay like that and then she was so surprised and so confused and then i was like why what could you possibly do you know without ruining the furniture or breaking the rules and stuff and she was like yeah what about photos or pictures or frames or so I went to her room and she had like art and pictures and postcards and all these things but I don't tend to put anything up really more recently I've started like I've bought like ooh, book frames not book frames I've bought like picture frames and put three family pictures up but I I am thinking about maybe putting up my art thank you temple I am thinking about putting up my art more so in um, just a few pieces, you know, my favourite pieces. Or even if they're not my favourite, maybe pieces that like I say I want to try this again as a reminder of what I want to experiment with. Do you tend to hang up your art? Do any of you have your art like hung up? I think it's a good practice. So now I want to go and put more details again. The reason that I'm dabbing it is because I've just got so much water. And if I have too much water, I'll just reactivate the layer underneath and have to bring up the heat gun. Ah, oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I do think it's a good thing to do, you know, seeing like your art. Um, in what I did in some of my videos was leave my sketchbook open in the background on some of my favorite pieces but then I started wondering hmm, they're not light fast so <laughs> so perhaps it's not something that I should do or we'll just see the colors change over time but maybe a little dilute yellow in the water near the shore here in the middle and uh, see
Is anyone like here an artist full time or does everyone else do other stuff as well? <laughs> Isn't that the dream, yeah? Yeah, art is a hobby for me too. Do I like my job? I do like my job. I like some parts more than others. And obviously things are a little bit, I, not a little bit, things were a lot skewed. Things were very skewed by COVID. Um, but I do, I do like my job. That being said, I do love art as well. I think like the parts that I love are like the labor ward <laughs> so bad the emergency <laughs> the emergency is basically um I'm not happy that they're happening but I'm happy I can do something about it does that make sense like I can fix it most of the time Yeah, Temple, definitely get that string and put up your artwork. Um, yeah, also at work, like certainly at home, at work, I don't have anything up. Um, it's just funny, I find, I guess I'm creative in some ways and not in others. Let's make this more I was thinking maybe I'll make like art prints um like print out do uh, rather than having the original pieces up um for the fear of like fastness <laughs> I will just do prints yeah we do have a delay I think yeah I will do um prints of my work and then have the prints hang up what yeah I know I would have thought that being a graphic designer would be awesome that being said I know I couldn't do it <laughs> I'm like yeah my I guess my creativity is is different <laughs> to that what do you do now, Mooney, if you don't mind saying? I know you said you work in the health sector as well.
Oh wow. That's amazing, Moni. Do you enjoy it? Not the 12 hour shift part, but the rest. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. It's funny how we all do different things and then just turn to art as our passion and outlet thank god for youtube eh otherwise we wouldn't be here <laughs> talking to each other yeah i think my job has made me more empathetic and compassionate <laughs> that being said it's good to have a some time off a week to just relax a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ebony. It's funny because I don't really see myself as a patient person. I think that's why I'm on labor ward. Well, then again, I'm working on it now. What do we think? Oddly enough, this looks a lot darker than I than I, than I thought it would. Or, or maybe it's just the angle of the camera. Do we like the green and blues? I feel like it looks darker and yet I feel compelled to make it darker still. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Thank you. Maybe that should be a postcard actually. I um I want to like get I don't know, do pen pals. Be pen pals. Have a pen pal? Is that what I mean? One of my friends recently moved abroad and she bought me the set of postcards that I showed you in my um in my last haul, 
And we said we'd become pen pals, so maybe. Then start sending these out. Are any of you signed up to Patreon? Thank you. <laughs> you guys are so sweet, honestly. I really appreciate your kind words. So that's one. Oops. This is the other. not in shot <laughs> what do we think which one's favorite let me move this up so it's not hidden have we done another two hour live stream <laughs> i think maybe at some point i will set like a, a set limit but for now i don't know i just do it until we're tired <laughs> which one's your favorite shall i say purples purple or green Ooh, green i'm surprised pleasantly surprised it pays off to experiment no it is actually warm. I like the like this bit, the light aspect. Light green actually looking like sunrise. Green and blue, green. Wow. Do you know what's always the case? <laughs> I can't go. You know what's often the case? I was telling uh, one of my sisters as well, is that when I tend to post art and I tend to be like this or that, right? To me there is usually like a clear winner but what tends to happen or what's happened most uh most of the time thus far is that people will actually pick the other one as their favorite which to me is like a win-win because if i love something i will love it irrespective of like people's opinion does that make sense so if something is my favorite it will still be my favorite even if other people say the other one is my favorite but then it's nice to know that something that perhaps i'm not feeling that positive about there is some beauty in it that other people are seeing so yeah it's thank you so much i keep talking about patreon because i also not in general but as in not on youtube but personally because i was also wondering like at what point should i create it should i not create it i don't know do i have enough on my plate um but then i do feel like patreon is a better way to connect with people <laughs> I've had it still. Thank you, Dubai Roots. Thank you, Dynamine. Oh, I've had it still. Darapoli. Uh, can't choose temple. <laughs> Green. That's so good then. It paid off to listen to you guys' suggestions. My The thing that I love about the blue, oh, both of them, is just the separation of colour. Like, I wish I could show you guys. Maybe I'll try and take a picture that's true to what I'm seeing and post it on the community tab. But can you see, like, the colours? Uh, I think it's because I, again, use some granulating colours. Not intentionally, but um, the colours started to separate. And I think also because I, like, was leaning, leaning while I was doing the shadows, the different colors started to separate as well so there's like what looks like browns there's blues there's yellows there's greens just adds a lot of character i think that's no <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Temple. No. What are your thoughts on Patreon while I have you here? Um, I should wait for this to dry before I take it off the block, but at the same time, it's also buckling, so. 
that being said although it buckles in the middle i was able to get rid of the paint if that makes sense so i was able to work around it um i didn't let the paint pull there and also as per temple's helpful recommendation i added some more yellow and i do think that it helped warm up the picture in theory maybe i should add a bit of yellow here but i'm going to uh accept that it's finished <laughs> bye shadow guard thank you so much for joining and i will see you at the next one which may be next week or the week after i'll get better at um notifying you when it will come up i'll probably put it on the um community tab <laughs> yeah no this uh, i don't know initially i thought this was my favorite now this one's also growing on me i really like both i do like both Ooh. what's everyone's thoughts on patreon obviously <clears throat> spare my feelings but <laughs> And also, if I do have a Patreon, what kind of things would you want to see on it? Would it be like the live streams, real time tutorials, physical rewards? I think the reason I lean towards it is because I like the idea of like having painting sessions together or jamming, chilling sessions together. Let me see. 22 votes. Oh, every week or twice a month of tying. Cool. Let me see if this will come off. Is it dry? Yes. So it has like a small area here that can come off that isn't glued so that in theory always makes me a bit nervous though oh i can pull it off <laughs> okay bye divine roots thank you so much for watching There we go. Uh, oddly enough, the papers underneath also buckled. Don't know why, because they are glued. They are glued down still on all those areas. It is what it is. That is true. That's a good point, Miss Ebony. <sighs> ladies and gentlemen if there are any gentlemen here i think that that is pretty much it for today no to our live stream we've done beautiful paintings thank you so much for recommending blue and green because it pushed me outside my comfort zone and got me to experiment with a color combination that i wouldn't have thought of and it's yielded beautiful results if i do say so myself Thank you so much, Temple. Bye, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will do my best to release the next um, video at some point this week, which will be the um, swatches, the Daniel Smith swatches. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Thank you for joining, Moni. Thank you so much, Jidaran. Thank you for your suggestion of green and blue. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I had an amazing time and I hope that you did too. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> I love these sessions. Um, that's why I offered weekly <laughs> because I actually love hanging out with you. Until next time. Bye, everyone.
<laughs> good point. Good night or good morning. Yasu, I am dynamite. Thank you, Temple. <laughs> <laughs> 